This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll explain where to store media in Apple Final Cut Pro and how the storage you use affects performance. Jim asks, I keep raw and transcoded media on a server. Is it better to store cache files on a server or an external drive? And the answer is neither. Cache files, ideally, should be stored on your internal drive. And let me explain why. If we look at the speeds of different devices, the internal drive on most modern computers, three years old or younger, is transferring data about 2,000 megabytes a second. Could be as high as 2,500, could be as slow as 1,000, but really quick because it's an SSD and it moves fast. Cache files are constantly being accessed by Final Cut. So you want to have them on your fastest drive and, and because they are constantly being erased and replaced and changed around, you want something which is going to be able to handle those changes easily. I want to keep my cache files on my internal drive. Another reason is look at a, the speed of a single external hard drive spinning media. It's about 200 megabytes a second. An external SSD, a single one, is anywhere from 400 to 2500 megabytes a second. Some of the earlier SSDs like PCIe are around four or 500 megabytes a second. New ones like NVMe are pushing 25, 2800 megabytes per second, really fast. If you connect a server using one gig ethernet, you're limited not by the speed of the server, but by the speed of one gig ethernet to about 110 megabytes a second. Well, this is a fraction of the speed of even a single spinning hard disk, not because the server is slow, but because one gig ethernet is slow. If we convert this to 10 gig ethernet, which requires a 10 gig port on the back of your computer, CAT6 or CAT6E cable, a 10 gig switch, and a 10 gig port on the back of your server, so you know if you've got 10 gig ethernet or not. Now your speeds can get close to 1000 megabytes a second, still not as fast as a single SSD, but you have all the advantages of a server sharing files. If I store my cache files on the server, though, the cache files, because they are constantly in use, fill all of your network bandwidth. The network is just packed sending these cache files back and forth. By storing the cache files locally on your system, you save all that network traffic for that which is important, which is the media and the library information. If we connect an external spinning hard disk, an HDD, four drive RAID, it'll transfer data around 500 megabytes a second. If we connect an external SSD, four drive RAID, it'll transfer data around 2000 megabytes a second, maybe as much as 2800. The maximum speed we can get right now with Thunderbolt 3 or Thunderbolt 4 is 2800 megabytes a second. So that's the top end for us right now. So, cache files stored locally to decrease network traffic and to take advantage of the speed of your internal drive. Then media stored externally on either a hard disk, an SSD, or a server, depending upon how much storage capacity you need and what your budget is. And then libraries. Libraries are storing minimal amounts of data. Media and cache files are much more data intensive. Still, we want to store the library in a, in a place that's fast enough that Final Cut can access it. All of these are connected via Thunderbolt, generally Thunderbolt 2 or faster, and you should be good to go. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 321. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours. 
on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.